everybody, this is Praxis, and today is day 10 of working on the greenhouse outside. I'm not working on the greenhouse presently. This morning I chopped up the rest of the uh, rafters? What are they called rafters? I forget. Yeah, the, the roof rafters. Uh, I got them all notched so they're ready to go up. Uh, I've got a little more work that I can do outside there. Uh, my dad's going to be here in two days and we're going to do that together. Uh, but the greenhouse stuff is going really nicely. But what I'm working on right now is something that I need ready for tomorrow because our electrician's coming in for his last day to finish everything up. And it is in relation to these uh, ceiling light uh, socket areas uh, that we have here. If you recall, I had an issue where I had put these metal boxes up there. I'd asked the electrician, uh, you know, referring to wall sconces, you know, uh, I'm using these kind of boxes for... Uh, uh, electrical receptacles and uh, you know wall switches and things. Can I also just use those for you know lights and things? He said, "Yeah, that's totally fine. Same for smoke detectors." I inappropriately inferred that that also meant the same for lights hanging from the ceiling, which it doesn't. Now, in reality, this light, uh, this box would be totally fine for the lights that we're putting up. No big deal at all. But I guess the idea is that someday you might want to hang a super heavy chandelier or a a fan or something from there, and this box is questionable as to whether or not it could hold that up safely. Um, I don't plan on doing that, but I, I mean, are you going to put a ceiling fan or a chandelier from one of these? I don't know. It's just the rules, and uh, you know we've got to follow them in order to get our self-approved by the inspectors. So we've got these. These are fan-rated boxes. I guess there's uh, cylinders, uh, and uh, I'm going to be using these to uh, go up there because these are rated for you know, being able to hold the weight of a fan. Uh, the way that they're going to attach, you know, normally I guess you'd attach them to a stud. There's this little kind of bracket that you can use with them. Uh, but we can't use that uh, because the way that we're attaching these, there is no stud really up there. It's just up inside of these uh, little uh, little channels that I created. And by the way, the other day when I was drilling these out, I made a terrible mess. I was using a whole cutting saw. Uh, sawdust all over the floor. Amber was nice enough to come in and clean all that stuff up. I was covered as well. I was wearing a, a respirator and safety glass when I was doing that. Big pain in the butt. Wish I knew ahead of time. Uh, and the lesson for that, uh, from that is that if you're ever doing something and you're asking a professional or someone uh, you know, their opinion or advice or for information, make sure you're very specific about the question. I was talking generally about lights and you know, talking about sconces and it's a whole different setup if it's uh, mounted to the ceiling. So make sure that you, you know, ask exactly the question that you're looking for the answer to because sometimes common sense doesn't really chime in. Again, these boxes that I had been using everywhere would have been totally fine, totally safe, 100%, no problem at all for my application, but the idea is that someday someone might want to come in and do something horrible. Same deal with the, uh, uh, well, it's not horrible to put a fan up, but it's it just somebody might come in and put a fan into a box that's clearly not capable of holding the fan, and I have to idiot-proof the house for the future. In the same way with the windows, I wasn't able to get those solar gain windows because someday there might be someone who lives here that doesn't know how to open windows in the summer, and if you're letting in a lot of uh, sunlight in the summertime, you might overheat your house and then they'll need to run air conditioning. So to save energy, I was prevented from using the energy absorbing windows from the sun that would have saved an enormous amount of energy in the winter. So you have to be specific about your questions you're asking everyone and just find out uh, what the real deal is for you and not make assumptions because it just makes an ass out of you or me, or mostly makes an ass out of the rules, I think. Uh, what I'm doing here is uh, preparing this to be put up there. Uh, I've got some spacers here. My dad engineered these little wooden spacers uh, uh, for these. Uh, these are going to sit right up in there, and this will make it about flush with these channels. I'll just screw up through there, and the wires are going to go in through the back. It's a little tight with the spacers around the uh, uh, the wire restraints here, but I'm sure it's going to work out all right. And uh, I just got 10 of these to do, and then I'm done, and then I'll be back to uh, doing some more work in the greenhouse so that we can get that thing uh, accomplished. I don't know when the greenhouse roofing's come, uh, coming. We ordered it a long time ago because everything's been delayed lately and haven't even heard that it's uh, going to be del delivered anytime soon. So we'll see about that. But uh, once we get the roof up there, it'll give us a scaffold to complete some work that we have to do up on the upper levels, like on the edges of the roof to trim, all that kind of stuff. That's it. Thanks for watching.